All right, I'm gonna try this again. Uh, I tried streaming this little quick video on Mixer, but it's starting to be a pain in the ass by not recording. But anyways, the point of this video is uh, I would love it to reach the Act Man because uh, I saw a video. Uh, it's a, it's an older video. It, it's about a month old, I believe. Um, where it said how Bungie could have improved uh, Destiny 2. Uh, and the thumbnail says what went wrong. And what I want to uh, uh, talk about is he had Rin's review as a gu uh, guest on there. And I have no ill will towards both of these guys. I think they're both good. Uh, they seem like good people. But Rin said something about private matches that was inaccurate. Very, very inaccurate. He said in the private matches, all you can do is mess with the time of day. I'm going to prove that wrong right here. Uh, <coughs> see here. There's a lot of things you can do in a private match uh, that you normally uh, can't play in the the crucible itself. Let's see here, hell, there's even uh, you get all these maps to choose from as well. Besides these four, these I'll show at the end. They're the the sparrow raising, which they're pretty fun as well. But right here, choose a score limit, time limit ammunition where it's uh, you have the grand no green ammo no purple ammo or none at all defaults better to have if you want to have more fun um, then your respawns and team revives all that Let's see here I'm gonna do something that normally doesn't really isn't played in the uh, crucible itself I'm gonna go and do Rift. Oh, also, yeah. So you get all these different game modes as well. Let's do Rift on a big map on Bastion. There, like Ren said, you could choose a time of day. Now, Ren was right about Rift. It is Destiny's take on Capture the Flag, which I think they needed. Uh, to me, it's it's like Capture the Flag mixed with uh, Bomb Assaults. Uh, the spark starts in the mid middle. Both teams are fighting for the spark. Once it comes, you have to take the spark to the opposing uh, base. And you basically slam dunk it for a score. If you slam dunk it backwards, you get uh, more points. But the cool thing also in private matches, uh, just like in Halo 2 when Infection was created, just fan-made, there's a lot of games in here, like there's Cat and Mouse, uh, Hunt the White Rabbit, Dodgeball, uh, Mafia Boss, and they're pretty fun. Spark will ignite the rift, and your uh, enemies will burn. Quick brief on Cat and Mouse. You got these interceptors here. There's two on each of these big maps. There's three big maps, and they're like your Wraith tank, like vehicles. Two players. On the same team will get that. The rest of the players the spark is available. get the sparrows. And however you set the limit, once once <coughs> you're playing, they can't shoot their rockets and you can't use your boost until the two limit mark comes. When the two limit mark comes, then uh, they're allowed to shoot their rockets and then you can use your boost. But demonstrate that Rift does work on a map that Rift has never been played on. And you can even do elimination on this and th that just sounds fun within itself. You're the runner, Guardian. Run. <coughs> Actually, I'd like to try that. Elimination. Nothing. One life per round. It'd almost be like a Destiny take on SOCOM. And... Back slam dunk. Enemy Rift ignites. Yeah, there's 
there's a lot of possibilities in the private matches as well. <coughs> now I want to show off. Uh, Charging the spot. Uh, sparrow racing. That's fun. I've played that with five other friends. It's really fun. It it uh takes me back to the uh, crash team racing. Uh, it was more like Jet Moto though. I actually actually loved that game on the PlayStation One. Uh, oh yeah. Sparrow racing map. Do that. Also, uh, add as many laps you want. Uh, random enemies, or you can pick choose because uh, the uh, AI will show up to try to mess with your racing. And let's go. Uh, another thing I want to say Destiny 1 is not really a pick up and play. But it kind of is, once you have uh, a, a fair amount of good weapons. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It is pick up and play if you're going in for crucible and party play and all that with your friends. I recommend it highly. In fact, I think it's only like what around ten dollars at GameStop. Uh, you and your friends can have a good time with this. And another thing that I'm surprised no one has talked about. And uh, Ackman, if you do watch this, I recommend you try this out with your uh, following and friends and all that. Hell, if you want to uh, send me an invite, I'll join you on these as well. But uh, what no one talks about is, if you play this right Sparrow now, racing. every map that Hold has been, uh, that has come out for Destiny 1, will be free to you uh, forever. The Bungie did this thing where Whole mess of out there, Guardian. when the expansion Ride came safe. out, the maps were only for uh, people who purchased the expansion. But when uh, the next expansion came, they uh, made the previous maps free for the public. Uh, the high, highest light level I think that y'all can get without purchasing any of the, uh, the expansions is 3, 34 I think. Uh, with all the paid DLC you get 40. But, that does not affect anything, especially if you're going to do private matches and all that. The only way you can affect it is there is an option, another option, where you can make a uh, light level count. Uh, the only reason I see doing that is probably making up another game mode of like a juggernaut or something. But yeah, like I said, all maps are free. Uh, every time a new expansion released, the previous ones become free. And I find it odd that no one, I, have had, I haven't seen it, of anyone talking about that crazy that that should be like a business model on its own and it's even more surprising that uh, Activision actually allowed that left two keep your helmet on this ain't over yet there you go you got your sparrow racing uh, you can look up on Google you know, different game modes that people have created on their own for this and uh, <clears throat> I've played a handful of them and they are fun um, can make game modes that didn't exist in the Crucible to be played on this, like I showed Rift on uh, on a vehicle uh, with a combined arm map. Uh, like I said, elimination sound can be fun, but yeah, the possibilities there, there's so many, there's so many, and I'm sorry, Rin, your uh, take on it was very inaccurate. There was more than just a time of day you can do. Ackman, if you see this. Uh, I would love your audience to be uh, educated more that Ren was wrong on that. Like I said, nothing wrong or, or nothing against Ren. I like the guy uh, and I like Actman. So please send this to Actman. Actman, <coughs> there will be.
time you will have to uh, put in to get weapons uh, <clears throat> that are fun to use. But once you get them, Destiny will become the party game you can play with your friends anytime. Not to say you can't use any of the uh, common and uh, uncommon and rare guns. You can use those as well, which is the green, uh, white, and blue. Because you can be a level, uh, well, level four. Because technically you have to get your first abilities uh, to be able to get into the Crucible. But once you do that, you can be level four, taking on a level 40. Uh, and if you don't have the expansions, level 34, and you'll be on the same level playing field. It's fun. Try it out. And uh, get this out to Ackman so he can be uh, enlightened the truth about private matches. So I'm going to end this here.